Hi, Mish Piratas. Here I am. This is part nine. <laughs> but the finale, because so we got over here pins, earrings, and I mean pins and rings, and then right here, only a little bit of earrings, okay? This one, these right here are the ones that didn't match. This is cool right here. But it didn't match. These didn't match. All Other than that, um, the ones that we got, they matched, so... If you're new, welcome to my new subscribers. Uh, and I got my box from uh, my girl in uh, the Florida eBay. Uh, it's here today. So we'll start it tomorrow. Uh, I don't know how much pounds it weighs. It's big. Um, but, um, so for, the, for those of you who are new, if I don't say a price, it means it's a dollar. Uh, if I do say a price, obviously it's the price it is. Uh, I do earrings first. Normally we have a lot more earrings, but in this case, we don't. It, and it's a crapshoot as far as if we get earrings or we don't. Um, you just don't know what's going to be in these boxes because they're random. So I don't get the curated. We've done enough experiments on the blue box in this. They're pretty stinky. As far as I'm concerned, anyway, that's my personal opinion. So, um, here we go, and I'm going to start with these beautiful things. These are Leverback Silver Tone. I'm going to make sure they're Silver Tone. They have a texture on the heart. They're very pretty. Uh, really? Okay, let me try and get them. <laughs> this is funny when I try to get stuff. Oh, maybe I could use my... If they don't pick up with the magnet, that means there's something else besides mystery metal. Yeah, I got them. Okay. All right. So, these are very pretty hearts. And they have a texture on them, like I said. It's not hammered. It's some other kind of diamond cutting. It looks like um, triangles. They're very pretty. Leave your backs. They'll be $2.00. These right here are very beautiful. They're, I don't know if they're gold tone or brass tone. Ooh, what is, there, was there a mark there? Maybe not. Maybe I'm seeing things. <laughs> anyway, these are very pretty. I'm still going to say they're gold tone. And me thinks, yeah, this is the way they go. This is the back right here because you can see where they're soldered. Very pretty. Maybe two dollars. Okay. These I like it a lot. There's four turquoise. Obviously, they have a little bit of um, chain tassel also, and they're clip-ons. These guys are trying to. Oh, and guess what? They're Monet. I don't even know Monet made this kind of stuff. I should have known by that, though. Yeah, they're Monet, so that'll be $3. Very pretty. Okay, and these are just little dangles. Uh, they have a... Wait, this is one. This is one earring. Moron. Okay, so this goes in the unmatched pile. <laughs> I thought there was two. Okay, these have acrylic, but they have a foil on the inside. Can you see that? They're brown, coffee brown color with a foil, like a glass bead on the inside. Pretty cool. And they have, uh, we tested the silver yesterday. That's not silver. That's silver tone. They have the nice air wires, and that'll be two dollars. Also, and these are silver tone, and these are trippy, cause they're you pull it back, so it's a, like a clip on, kind of sort of. They're just hoops. They have a design on here, kind of a meshed uh, thing on the outside. They're pretty cool. That'd be two bucks. Also. 
And these ones, probably going to be the only dollar ones. These are acrylic faceted little beige beads, uh, taupey, with um, silver tone wires. They're a dollar. And these are acrylic. Wait. Yeah. yeah, these are acrylic with uh, brass tone wires. Well, come on, Pilgrim. <laughs> and they have a dangle down here. They're very lovely. And they'll be $2. And these are really cool. I think I thought I saw a name on this, but I'm not sure. They're they're vintage, so because of this. See this circle back here? That denotes the vintage. It's just the way they used to make them back in the day. No, I do not see any. But look it. See that? So you have the base, well, there's something inside, and it has the nice bezel, the fancy bezel, then glass or resin on the top. Isn't that cool? This would be $3. Okay. And these are clip-ons also. And they have the circle. These are old. Silver tone. This needs to be wiped down. And they have AB on them, acrylic. They're very cute. And they'll be two dollars. These right here are seed beads with silver wires. And this guy needs to be replaced, so when you buy them, you tell me, hey, did he change the wire out on that one Mongol <laughs> crazy wire? <laughs> These will be a dollar. I'm not I'm not adhering to my rules today because there's only like two that are a dollar. Ouch. Okay. So all of these are sugar fix, and they say it right here on the back. They were in a bag that said sugar fix. So these are rhinestones. They could be CGs, but I don't know because they're covered in the back. These are a bright cobalt blue. Very pretty. All these are going to be $3 each. These sugar fix, okay? And these are uh, ruby red. Gold tone. Very, very pretty. And look. Very nice. Three dollars also. These are crazy colors. These are like um, Mystic Topaz look. They're not. They're by Sugar Fix. I think Mystic Topaz was trademarked by JTV. Anyway, that's what they look like. All different colors of the rainbow. Also gold tone. Post back. These are... To me, they look like Kunzite. But they're not. That's a peachy, I mean, excuse me, pinky uh, lavender color. Gold tone. Very pretty. $3 also. And then these are olive green with gold tone also. Really nice. $3. Okay, that did it for the earrings. See how little earrings we got this time? Now, I know this one vendor that I got the box from, and they always send me a bag of earrings that match. So, we like earrings on our finale. So, these are all rings, and then the other ones will be uh, pins, brooches, and stuff like that. Okay. Let me get my ring sizer. And... We'll see what we got here. Okay, this is uh, the glitter strip. There's gold tone. It has a uh, silver tone glitter strip on here. 
Actually, is you could sand your fingernails on. <laughs> and the size is oh, uh, five and three quarters. Okay. And this will be a dollar. This is one of those long rings. Let me take this off there. I don't know if it's a fit, but can't sorry. No. Yeah, maybe. Oh, look. <laughs> well, hell's bells. This has uh, rhinestones in there. And this is a six right in the middle. Dead center. That's pretty. Silver tone with rhinestones. Okay, this is a stretchy. Oh, look. This looks like it has abalone in there. Beautiful. This is missing one rhinestone. All you got to do is say, yo, I want the abalone looking ring stretchy. Replace the rhinestone. And I will. And this one, I don't know if I said, but it'd be $3. This is six and a half without stretching, okay? This is gunmetal also. Very pretty. Those dollars. Okay, this is a wire wrap ring. It has uh, seed beads and a little um, bicone. It's silver tone. And ooh, this is a seven and three quarters. This would be a dollar. Hmm. Is this a real ring? <laughs> Let's see. Well, it doesn't say anything on the inside. But this is very pretty. It reminds me of Morganite. A really good Morganite. Peachy pink with rhinestones around here. And this is an eight, almost and a quarter. So it's an eighth and an eighth. Eighth, eight and an eighth. Uh -huh. So it'll be two dollars. And this is this puppy one that I showed you before. It's purple. Always by my side. Forever in my heart. Hmm. My pop up. This is a six and a half, okay? So it'll be two dollars. And this is interesting. This is brass tone, but it has copper coming through. There's nothing written in it that I can see. And then it has design on here. And, and it's a six. Exactly. So it'll be two dollars. This one is the fake point. It's acrylic. And it's breast tone. And this is a seven. Exactly. So it'll be a dollar. Oh, that's cute. Nothing written on the inside. <laughs> see the design on it, though? That's nice. Let's see what size it is. This is six and just past the half. Six and a half, I'm going to say. This would be a dollar. Okay, and this one has a whole bunch of rhinestones on it. It's really pretty. And it's open here. There's nothing supposed to be here. Gold tone with a silver tone up here. Really pretty. Nice idea. Nothing written on the inside. No. 
And this is a five and three quarter. This will be two dollars. And oh, this is different. This is this kind of a saddle uh, ring. It has uh, rhinestones. There's something written. No, it's a scratch. It's brassy, uh, but it's gold tone. And this is an eight, exactly. This would be two dollars. That's a good one of it. And this, I think, is more of a coppery rose tone color. Has rhinestones and they're in triangle triangles and let's see oh this little now you could stretch this obviously I'm not going to though so it's a five and a half that'll be two dollars and this is just a pink enamel ring and on the violet side nothing written inside and this is a seven and a half exactly it'll be a dollar this is a little butterfly ring it has um you can stretch it but i won't it's gold tone and this is a six and a half without stretching it. You could stretch it to an eight, probably. This would be a dollar. And this is the art glass one. If you didn't see it, it's really cool. It has swirls on the inside. It looks psychedelic. <laughs> Obviously, there's nothing written on the inside because it's glass. This is exactly a seven. This would be three dollars. Art glass is so cool. And this one is fancy. Look. It's got like, um, not a royal blue. I don't know what this is. This is different though. This is sapphire blue. This is like, um, I can't think of the name of it. Both of those are the same. Then they have dark, um, dark rhinestones all the way around here, and then rhinestones here and here. Here, this is really elaborate, elaborate design. It's gold tone or brass tone, and this is a five, exactly. This is really pretty. And this would be four dollars. There's that little um, silver tone ring. I thought it was an earring, but it doesn't move, so it's wire wrapped. And it is small, also. Five, exactly. Maybe a dollar. And this one, I don't know about this one, if you could stretch it or not. No, I don't think so. It's small. Gold tone, and it's a four. Bitty bitty. And it has two rings. It'd be a dollar. And last but not least, we have the flower ring. And these are um, brownish red color, silver tone, big giant rhinestone in the middle. This fits my finger here. That's the way it looks on. But I'm going to measure it without stretching it. It's a seven. Without, you can make it to a nine. This is nice. And it's, I can't tell if this is enamel or acrylic, but they're raviolis. 
these because they have the points on them. I don't know if you're able to see that, but that is points. Rivoli. I say ravioli because I'm being a smartass. This would be four dollars. Okay, that's all the rings and the earrings. Okay. I brought this back because I don't know. I think I'm going to cut the beads off, put them in craft, and keep this around for the set. His, he's too cute. And this, <laughs> his turtle. Somebody carved him out of one piece of wood, which kills me. So I just want to show you that. Then these are just odds and ends. A couple of roaches. Oh, man. My butt does not like this chair. I'm going to get a donut. I just haven't got one yet. Okay, this is a hair barrette. And it actually says something. Lila Oaks. Lila Rose. I'll make noise. Okay. Uh. <laughs> okay. This is really cool looking, but how in the world? It says extra small. I don't know if it's a hair barrette or not. Okay, I don't know what this is. Extra cool hair. So it's supposed to be for hair. There's a moon and a star hanging from it. And two stars over here, another star over here, another star over here. Pero... I don't know about this. I don't know how it works. So I'm put it back. You guys figure it out. You probably know what it is. Because I haven't worn my, you know, fancy hair barrettes like this for kids. But this will be $3, okay? These are two barrettes. They're just plain old clip style barrettes. The card will be a dollar for both of them, okay? A dollar. This I really like a lot because it's ceramic. Somebody made this homemade thing and I love the way they made that like a petal or a ruffle on there and it's a brooch that'd be four dollars it's very pretty I don't need this anymore this is a pendant it needs a bale or you can put a jump ring and it's cat's eye peach cat's eye with giant rhinestones very cool it'd be three dollars I still don't know what this thing is, so I'm putting it in crafts. There's nothing to cook it on. There's nothing. <laughs> it's crazy. Well, I have no clue what that is. Okay, this is the approach. And the mechanism works. I tried it earlier, but I'll show you. It works. And it has black and clear rhinestones. It's very pretty. It's three dollars. This thing reminds me of some from the seventies. It has a cup, a sec, a C, a C closure, and it's like uh, it's plastic. It's acrylic, and it has these gold bars in between. This is a dollar. But I think it reminds me of something from the 70s. Early 70s. This approach is just a... I don't know. Oh, it's a palm tree. Duh. Palm tree. It's a dollar. And this is a golf uh, club deal with a golf ball. And anything on the back? Nope. This would be a dollar. And this is a hair barrette for a dollar. has a leaf on it. And this is, I, I don't know if it's a roadrunner or what. But he's cuckoo looking. And he's missing some uh, rhinestones. That's no problem because I have a million colored rhinestones. If you buy it, you tell me, I'll fill them up. If not, he's going to sit here all by himself. <laughs> the mechanism works. It needs a little WD-40, but it works just fine. This is old. Old it. Oh, this will be $3. 
but with the rhinestones in, okay? Okay. And last but not least, I have this, and I think they're supposed to be like a mabe pearl. Something flat, maybe a flat rhinestone. I'm not sure. But this works fine. Hold on. Yeah, this works fine. The mechanism does. This will be a dollar. And if you want me to find something to put in there, I will. I just don't know what it will be. So it's got to be have a flat bottom and a round top. So there you have it. That is it, folks. We finished that box, and it's going to cut me out. I love you.